guys, it's Megan. So today I'm going to be doing a financial video and this has been on my mind a lot lately when I have been trying to do a new budget. I have my computer in front of me so if I have like a glowing face that's why. Um, I've been trying to rework my budget to make it easier for me to follow and just to understand where every single cent of my money is going and know it ahead of time and know that I have, if I have to buy a gift for something, I know I have money for that already and I don't have to use like my personal spending money to be able to buy someone a gift for their birthday and just things like that. I have a new car that I have a car payment for so those are some things that I've been thinking about and needing to rework in my budget. So I wanted to focus this video on goals and you can't achieve your goals if you don't know what they are and that's something that I realized a few weeks ago when thinking about where do I want my money to go? What do I want my money to be doing for me? What do I want to be like saving for and what do I need to spend my money on or what do I need to have goals, financial goals for? And so I wrote down the most important things in terms of saving for me. And I wrote them down, the things that seemed most important and the things that popped into my mind first. And also I thought about it over the next few days after I wrote those initial things down and added things that I didn't think about, like car maintenance, like those kinds of boring things that you don't want to really prioritize but you know that you'll eventually have to spend money on maintaining your car or if your air conditioner in your house goes kaflooey or something. So those types of things didn't initially come to me but I wrote them down on my list and then I prioritized my savings goals and the categories that I felt were most important to me for saving. And so I ranked them on a scale from one to whatever. And one of course is being the most important savings goal or the savings priority for me at this moment right now. And that is moving out. So for moving out, I have budgeted the most amount of money into that savings category. And for me, I don't include my student loans in my savings because I consider that a bill every month. So I have that in my spending category. So each paycheck, I put a certain amount of money towards my student loans, which is more than the payment needs to be because I'm trying to pay them off as fast as possible. And I, I'm just incredibly proud about how much I have paid off with my student loans and I know that I wouldn't be in this position right now if I didn't think about the financial aspects of all of my decisions in my life and if I was still spending as much money on makeup and those types of things or clothes even that I would drop hundreds of dollars each month or each quarter each year I I just can't imagine ever being able to put this much towards my student loans or save for a new car and I, I'm i just really thankful to have discovered all of these things now in my life as opposed to later on and um, yeah so moving out is my number one savings goal right now and I have a big chunk of money saved for that and for other categories but I really 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 want to focus on those things now that I know what my priorities and my goals are. So I don't have like a specific number that I'm trying to reach at this moment because I don't know what that number is and I don't know when I really want to move out but I'm trying to put aside as much money as I can while putting away for other things that is feasible for me and the amount of money that I'm making right now. So when I discovered that moving out is my number one priority because I've built up my emergency fund which was 
one of my number one priorities when I started my budget. I put as much as I could towards my emergency fund and I'm so glad that I did because I feel a lot better having that cushion to fall back on if anything were to happen to my job. And so now that I have my emergency fund built up, I feel that I am more able and feel a little bit better about putting more towards moving out, which is not a necessity for me right now, but I know that I want to move out within the next few years. Like that is a definite 100% given and I might eventually move out of state. So I want to have a lot of money saved up that I'm able to make that decision when and if I want to, like moving to a different state is the if. So um, I have the most money in my savings budgeted towards my moving out. And then I went from there and I basically did like $10 less for each category. So I did moving out as my top, then I have my emergency fund. So even though that's not my number one priority, it's still a very important thing for me and I think every single person should have an emergency fund. Whether you can put $5 towards it each month or you can put $100 towards it each month. Whatever you're able to do, if you're only able to put $1 towards it, that's still better than nothing and putting it in a savings account will also help you grow a little bit of interest while it sits in your account as opposed to just putting a dollar in your wallet and just it'll never grow in your wallet. If you put it in a savings account, it'll, it'll grow a little bit, not as much as if you put it in the stock market, but still it'll grow a little bit over time and that that's free money. It'll add up and that's really good. So putting whatever you can towards an emergency fund I think is so important. I cannot stress how important it is to me and how I hope every person out there has that fallback money that if anything happened to your job or your house or whatever situation you're in right now, if that drastically changes, you should really have your own money that you can fall back on just in case. It is a total just in case fund and I just really, really think it's important. So if you don't have an emergency fund right now, I really encourage you to start one. Start small and start steady. And that is what I have learned with saving is start with a number so small that you think it's laughable how small it is. So I started with like $20 or something a month for my emergency fund. And as I realize, or I do it per paycheck because I find that a lot easier for me. So I did it like $20 or whatever per paycheck and I was like, oh, this is nothing. And that is what I would always say in the past. I would say, oh, this is nothing. Let me put $100 towards my savings. But I couldn't sustain that. I couldn't sustain $100 at the beginning each month because I wasn't budgeting in other categories I would be my spending would be fluctuating in different categories so even though hundred dollars didn't seem like a lot in comparison to my paycheck it was a lot in comparison to my spending and so I in the past like in college all the time oh my god it's so like terrible to think back on how badly I had like spending issues but I would put like a good chunk of my paycheck into my savings because at the time I was like, well, I need to put money in savings, but then I would want to buy something impulsively and it would be whatever, 50 bucks or 100 bucks. And I would realize, oh shit, I don't have that money. So I would take it out of my savings and I would do this constantly. I would put too much in my savings and then I would have to take it back out because it was... At the time that I was doing this, I had really bad spending problems. So I would just overestimate how much I could save and then I would have to take it out, have to, when I would want to shop. So what I learned for myself and I think would be really great for people that do have spending issues or just a hard time saving is start with a very small amount and put that in your budget or whatever. I really recommend a budget. I have mine on an Excel document or in, um, what is this, numbers for Mac. And then you can keep track 
of everything on your computer. Just make a new column each time you get paid. It's really, really nice and easy. And so I put just a small amount of money each paycheck towards my emergency fund. A small number, like $20, like I said. And as I realized that I could do this and I could do it each paycheck and it didn't interfere with anything else that I was having to save for, my student loans, my car payment, things like that, I upped it. So I upped it to then $50, say. And I don't remember exactly what the numbers were. So if I started with 20, then I upped it to like 30 or 40 or 50. And then I did that for a while. And then when I realized that I could sustain that, then I upped it to 100. And so I was just upping my number until I got basically to the cap that I could do. And in my budget and in the way that I like to think of my money, I try to do it every single cent has a job. And I learned that from You Need a Budget, which is a software and a website. And I don't I don't use their software. I tried to use it, but it just really didn't work for me. I didn't like the interface and I know that they've changed it since then, but I don't wanna pay a monthly fee to use it. So I created my own spreadsheet and it, works a lot better for me and it's easier for me to manipulate and just see and I realize that I don't like using those types of apps like Mint or any of those because I find it very disconcerting to give a lot of websites and companies my bank information and that that is what ultimately made me step back from all those different apps because I think that they are helpful and they do have a place when you're starting out but I still find that it's just not something I feel comfortable with is giving access to my bank account to different apps and websites and stuff. So use your own discretion with that. I know so many people use it and love it but it's just something I don't feel comfortable with doing after really thinking about it. So um, set aside the minimal amount of money that you can for your savings goals and then work your way up to a higher amount. So I have moving out, emergency fund, then I have um, Christmas slash gifts and my Aunt Sue actually texted me a while ago with an amazing tip. So if you can put away $10 or $20 each paycheck or each month, from now until Christmas, you'll have several hundred dollars to spend for Christmas. So Christmas won't even feel like a big deal because you'll be saving for that holiday or whatever winter holiday that you celebrate. And I thought that that was just such a great idea. And so I added that category into my savings spreadsheet and in, into my budget because I've always wanted to set aside money for Christmas and I always have this like plan that I will but I don't think of it until like a few months before usually around Black Friday is when I start to think about Christmas shopping and I try to do pretty much all my Christmas shopping in like October and November just to get it out of the way because so many places are having great deals by then so I added Christmas and gifts into my savings categories I also have car maintenance again with a new car I hopefully won't have to really put money towards car maintenance but I might even broaden that category into just like maintenance in general I don't have my own home right now so I don't have to worry about that but if anything were to break that I personally own, I might need to pull into my savings account. So car maintenance or maintenance in general. Then I have investments, which I am currently saving to open up a Vanguard account. So the one that I wanna open, it's the Vanguard Index Fund. It's the one that Mr. Money Mustache really recommends. And you need to have $3,000 to open the account. So I'm almost there, but I'm putting money towards investments in this category, but adding it to the money I've already saved up. So I have a separate account. I have a bunch of different savings accounts, and I have 
like a certain amount of money that I put towards like long term and the long term savings is what I'm going to be putting into my investments. And another thing that's changed in the past month or so has been I started my 401k. So my paycheck looks lower now that I have money going towards my 401k, but I also get my company match, which is amazing. And I already have like almost $500 in my 401k and that feels incredible <laughs> to have that money already in a savings account. I just can't even believe it. I'm so excited about that and that's something that really has changed with my budget and having to just change the numbers because it, my budget or my paycheck did go down quite a lot because I put away the, I think it was 10% of my paycheck towards my 401k. So that makes me feel really good, but it did have a, an effect on my budget and I've just been having so many different thoughts about money lately and I've been really strict on myself with spending and a lot of things that I have purchased lately I've been thinking about do I really need them and I've made a lot of returns and so I'm trying to be as frugal and spend the minimal amount of money as possible and I think that it's made a huge difference on my mentality and my ability to be able to save for all these things and I feel really good about money right now and saving. And then my last category for savings are vacations and concerts. So I originally had them as two separate things, but I decided to put them together at this point. If I make a little bit more money next year, I will put more money towards those things that are really not essential, but things that I really enjoy to do. So for vacation and concerts, those are completely like entertainment based. If I want to go to a vacation or concert like that, I'm it's not a family vacation or whatever, I have to pull out of my either personal money and then I can't spend it on other things or I have to get like save enough money for a vacation in my savings to be able to do it. So in September, I'm going on a friend vacation that I'm very excited about and I planned the whole thing and just, you know, how one person is like the planner of everything. So I planned it and thankfully enough enough of us are going that it's very inexpensive for each person to be able to come on the vacation. So it it's a lot of fun to be able to do something like that and not have to have each person shell out a few hundred dollars to be able to go on vacation together. So I'm really excited, but I definitely need to budget more spending money for that vacation because I know we will be going out and stuff like that. So um, that's something that I will be saving towards in my vacation fund. And with concerts, that's something I just absolutely love to do, but it's a last minute decision pretty much to buy a concert ticket. You hear that the concert tickets are going on sale and then you have like a few days before they go on sale and then you have to make that split second decision. When you see the seats are available, you pretty much have to buy them if you want to go. So that's something I want to save more in advance for because I know that I will be going to concerts and it's just something that will definitely be happening, but saving for that ahead of time, I think will make a huge difference. So I have quite a few savings categories, but knowing what types of things that you want to save for is the most important thing to me. And before I didn't know that these things were as important to me as they were, like investments. I didn't know that that would be such an important thing, but to me it really is. And to make your money grow and use that for retirement or just long term in the future, to have your money growing and growing and growing in a way that it will not ever be able to grow if you just get cash out and put it in a safe or if you put your money in a savings account. Those will not grow nearly as much as it will going into the stock market or with an index fund. So those are some things that I've learned that I'm 
really excited about starting and the 401k thing has been really incredible. It's something that I've looked forward to since I started my job and I'm just really proud of that and I can't wait to have a supplemental investment account for myself and just put money towards that as I can and once I open it with the $3,000 I'll probably just put like a smaller amount of money towards it each paycheck um, and just see that grow over time but knowing what your goals are if your goals are to pay off a certain debt definitely consider that in your savings or whatever type of like section in your budget you want to think of it as for me my student loan debt is considered spending because I know that I will spend that each and every paycheck I have a certain amount of money that I put towards that and it won't always be there because I'm hoping to pay it off as fast as possible and whenever I get my paycheck I directly deposit the money into my student loans so I know that that money is going I know that I don't have that to spend and it just makes it a lot easier for me to keep track of that and I feel like I've been getting into the groove more with my saving and my spending. I need to just get a little better following my budget because I have been slacking off with that but I feel really passionate about it again. I've been watching more financial videos and so I think that I'll be better and more on track now than I was even just last month because I feel I feel strongly about saving and especially now that I have my new car as a responsibility for me I just really want to save as much money as possible and cut as many corners as possible do things that are inexpensive or free and not shop and not buy not essential things so that is where I am right now with my budget and my savings and if you take anything out of this video start an emergency fund start small and work your way up and know your savings goals know what you are working towards and when you know what you're working towards that is how you'll make progress at least if you're like me if I don't know what I'm working for or what I'm working towards or what my goal is doing all this is senseless and pointless and I don't I will not follow my plan if I don't have a goal in mind. So now that I know what my goals are, I know that I'll stick to them better because I feel strongly about moving out and I feel strongly about having investments and starting that index fund. So those things make me excited and when I feel excited about something, I'm definitely more prone to doing it. So I hope that this was a helpful video and I didn't know exactly what I was going to cover in this video <laughs> when I started talking, but I hope that this was helpful and I will definitely be doing more financial videos in the future because I love them first of all, but I do feel like I have my footing a little better than before and I think that I'll be able to have more helpful advice and tips now that I just feel like I'm doing better for myself with my budget. So I hope you guys are all having an awesome day. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!